ทุนทุนทุนจำทุนทุนทุนทุนจำทุนทุนทุนจำทุนทุนทุนจำทุนทุนทุนจำทุนทุนทุนจำทุนจำฮะทุนจำทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนจำทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนจำจำทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนจำจำทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุนทุ And today, we are visiting the jungles of Africa, as we watch an episode of the Lion King's Timon and Pumbaa, often simply referred to as Timon and Pumbaa. Uh-huh. A little bit of background information on the Lion King's Timon and Pumbaa. It is an American animated television series created by Walt Disney Television Animation, based on the 1994 Disney animated film *The Lion King*. Mm-hmm. Hence the name, *The Lion King's Timon mm-hmm. and Pumbaa*. Yeah, yeah. It centers on Timon and Pumbaa, a leer, a meerkat, <laughs> and a warthog as they live their problem-free philosophy, *Hakuna Matata*, <laughs> uh, which means no worries. For yeah, the rest that's of your days, yeah. uh, the show ran uh, for three seasons, um, and aired from 1995 to 1999. So, the mid to late yeah. 90s. Um, it's also the first Lion King related media to feature humans. Fun fact. Huh? Yeah, as uh, the humans didn't appear in any of the film sequels, or further media I ah. guess. Um, it's the first of two television series to be based on the film the second being The Lion Guard what was that? Uh, that's a current one about lions that guard things yeah they're a bit like The Avengers were lions I think oh right okay so there were 85 episodes um, and in 2004 Timon and Pumbaa starred in their own feature film The Lion King One Half <laughs> Uh, which was a direct to video adaptation of the television series uh, to the first of two films. Uh, it starred Nathan Lane, Ernie Sabella, Cam Clark, Robert Goulouin. I don't know, I don't think that's right, but I'm sticking with it. There it is. Julie Kavner and Jerry Stiller, ah. who provided the voice of Timon, Pumba, Simba, Rafiki, Timon's mother, and Uncle Max, respectively. Ah, Uncle Max. Uncle Max. Um, yeah, there's. Uh, oh, uh, also news: it will um, be reshown on the upcoming platform, Disney Plus, ah. Disney's um, new streaming Stream service, yeah. set to air this month. Oh, um, in certain areas, not the UK. <laughs> <laughs> so not for us. the US you'll get it and I think it's like yeah. greater Czechoslovakia it's 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 yeah it's an odd bunch mm. it's like Norway and oh, right. Australia or something yeah I don't know but yeah not us anyway no, cool. so we've got to wait for all those shows mm. Star Wars and such yeah the Marvel shows or whatever but yeah I'm sure we'll get it soon enough yeah but there you go. Background information sorted. Let's move on to memories. 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 It means no forgetting <laughs> for the rest of your days. <laughs> your memories of Timon and Pumbaa. Well, uh, as it turns out, I actually used to have uh, this on uh, VHS. Did you now? Yes. All of it. Not all of it. Um, that I think been, we had. I know, yeah. A big collection. It would have been eighty some <laughs> episodes. Yeah, and a hundred and eighty videos. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't know if you know this, kids, but they didn't really have a great capacity. It was about you would have probably about three mm. to four. Well, no, it must have been 
about maybe six episodes mm. to a video. Yeah. Do you reckon? Maybe. At a push. At a push. Probably. Yeah. The Simpsons ones always only ever had like four, didn't they? Yeah. So, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah. 88. 88, I don't know, yeah. Uh, but yeah, you know, sometimes, you know, if you add a... You, you'd end up splitting the videos it's just uh, just how it went yeah. but I had I think it was a handful of episodes um, on video so I used to watch it quite often and in between the episodes there was a nice little bit where it was Timon and Pumbaa singing um, the uh, I forget what the song is now uh, In the Jungle uh, no they Hakuna did, Matata no they did do that um, Stand By Me is Stand By Me yeah was they it? did their introduction to Stand By Me yeah <laughs> Oh, there you go. Um, and it, yeah, for a long time, that was the only version I knew. There you go. Um, it's quite disappointed to find that they weren't the originators of that song. But well, you know, life is cruel. Yeah, life is cruel. Um, but yeah, so I, the quite vivid memories. It was one that I watched quite a lot um, mm. and that I enjoyed because um, I, I like the I liked the characters. They were, they were I think to be a '90s kid and mm. not know at least Timon and Pumbaa. Mm would mean that you're not from Western civilization. Yeah, you're a fraud. Yeah, you're, you're a <laughs> you're Western fraud. fraud. Um, yeah. But yeah, it was just, I mean, Lion King was huge. It was huge, yeah. Like the film was massive. Mm. Uh, so you would definitely know who they were, even if you didn't like it. Yeah. But everyone liked it. Yeah. So, um, what about you? Your yeah, memory. I remember it. I used to watch it. Mm. Um, I don't remember any specific episodes. Mm. I didn't have it on video, um, but I do remember seeing it on, it was on Disney Channel all the time. Yeah. Um, and whatever else it was on. Mm. So yeah, I do remember. There's no question in my mind. No. Um, on whether or not I remember it. Well remembered. Well remembered. Well remembered. For the rest of my days. <laughs> That's it. Well, with that sorted, let us move on to our playthrough. Rewind. <laughs> Playthrough. Which which episode was this? Episode three. Three. Season yeah. one. Yeah. Part one. Yeah. Yeah. Can't remember what it's called. Something. Something Everglades. Neverglades. Never Everglades or something. Something like that. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. yeah that's the episode. Yeah. Sorry. Carry no. On. No. Yeah. Well. Yeah. We now you know. Now we you need know that we information. Yeah. yeah. We do. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got to moan. Yeah. We've got Pumba. Yeah. And they generally live, you know, that carefree lifestyle that they're so well known yeah. for. Yeah, Hakuna Matata. Yeah. Um, but in this episode, um, it turns out that Pumba finds an egg underneath him as he's sleeping. Yeah. And this changes their whole dynamic. It falls off a truck. It does. Yeah. A truck that's delivering mm -hmm. alligator eggs. Yeah. Somewhere. Mm -hmm. as, as you do. Yeah. And then it hits a bump. Yeah. And one singular egg falls out, mm -hmm. doesn't crack, rolls yeah. under a warthog as he's sleeping. Yeah. Strange, like... <laughs> but true. Yeah, this is, this is <laughs> it's exactly what that happens. That is it. Um, and so Pumba believes he has uh, he's laid, laid an egg. egg yeah. And now he's going to be a mummy. Timon is explained to him that, yeah. is not impo that is not possible. Yeah. It's very like, you know. Mm. You know, you're a man. Man can't lay an yeah. egg. It's yeah, or it understands. Was like, well, <laughs> well, then how did I? Yeah. Point proven. There you go. That, and that's how science works. Yeah. Yeah. And so the egg pretty much immediately hatches, um, and it's uh, an alligator pops out. Yeah. It's like mummy, mummy, and we have the setup for a, a rocky relationship to continue. Yeah. So the alligator and the pumba are both convinced that they're relations, but Timon knows otherwise, and he's not so happy about the alligator being around since it tends to just bite his tail more often. Yeah, than like that. every time it's in the sea, it bites his tail. <laughs> just bites his tail. He hates it. Yeah. Um, and he's very yappy, and he talks all the yeah, time. He's like he talks very fast, asking questions like, mommy, 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 "Why does he do this? Why does he yeah. do that? Why does he do that, mommy, mommy? Yeah. Why does he do this?" Classic annoying kid. Yeah. But Pumba's trying to teach it the ways of. Of being a warthog, yeah, it teaches it how to move a log out of the way so they can get grubs. It teaches it how to, you know, take family photos. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's lots of. It's all. It's very set on making a good example. Yeah, that's got to make a thing. good example. Yeah. And so Timon gets the brunt of this because they're they're sitting around the table for dinner 
he doesn't use his fork, he doesn't say grace, and he's constantly getting nagged at by Pumper for not setting a good example. Yeah. But eventually this gets, you know, it gets too much and Timon takes Pumper aside and explains that, look, like, with you're not his parents, like, it's better off as he grows up if he goes to be with his own kind, and, and you know, because he's, you know, he's not, he's, he's not one of us. He's clearly uh, a chicken. An ugly chicken. Saying, yeah, ugly it's chicken. an ugly chicken. <laughs> um, but Junior overhears this and he runs away, he leaves, yeah. leaves a little note, and Pump is not very happy about this. He's very angry with Timon. Yeah. Um, and so they go out to look for him. But it, as it turns out, he's he's doing all right on his own. He's, he's found, found a he's found a girlfriend. Yeah, found a girlfriend, yeah. and uh, you know they seem to be they seem to be doing all right. But Pumba still thinks they should have guidance. So they need to be with their own kind. Yeah, and so luckily the pair of them set up um, a place for them to go live. And they, <laughs> the end scene we see the two alligators heading into the chicken coop. Yeah. Right <laughs> With, with the, feathers uh, flying yeah. and those two are pleased as punch yeah and it's like yeah we did the right thing yeah. and that's the end of the episode yeah. to jam <laughs> to jam so you you watch it straight in the theme mm-hmm. tune yeah Hakuna Matata yeah you already know the theme tune yeah. you've seen the film it's one of the best songs in the film yeah especially when you're a kid it's like, oh yeah I mean, they're all pretty good anyway. Hmm. But you're like, oh yeah, yeah I, mean, I know this. I can sing along, and I've not even seen an episode. Yeah, because I've seen the film. That's it. So you're already excited. You're on the hook. Yeah, yeah. and you already know the characters. Yeah, it's pretty. You don't have to have episode one. Who no. are these guys? Yeah, you know they are. You know what they're about. Mm-hmm. Hakuna Matata. That's it. Pretty simple. Yeah. Um, and this is from sort of a, an era where they did loads of film related cartoons mm. so they did like they had a little mermaid cartoon yeah aladdin mm-hmm. um hercules yeah uh 101 dalmatians cartoon yeah it was just like every everything they could they had to do a yeah. cartoon out of it. um but this one is almost perfect for mm. this format yeah because it's just them two and you can do whatever with them yeah because even when you see them in the film you get this impression that they've just been doing all these little adventures they just the do time this is just how yeah. they live like because that's it it is like the whole bit with them in the film mm. it's like a side it's like it taking you out of the main story mm. to have a bit of it's the comic relief yeah almost period of the film mm. and they brought that to tv that's it and it works seems to work, yeah, work yeah. pretty well yeah Tarzan that was another one. Oh yeah Tarzan yeah, yeah. but yeah that, it doesn't have to be you don't because there would be a lot of them and you kind of watch them like mm. how does this fit when this happened in the film yeah, like, yeah. as a kid you, like now you know they just make cartoon whatever mm. you know you take it with a pinch of salt but yeah. as a kid it was a bit like hold on like you know like yeah. Aladdin the yeah. Aladdin cut so it's like why is the genie with him yeah he set him free exactly yeah, it well, doesn't I don't tie understand. Like, I'm pretty sure he still had his gold band. Yeah, he did. Yeah, and you're a bit like, I don't understand. Yeah, so I don't get this why that's happened. Yeah, because you know, if anyone's going to scrutinise, it's going to be the kids who are struggling to understand yeah. it at the best of times. So like, you make a timeline jump like that. You're just like, what? It's really like at least I remember it. Hercules. It was set in his school days. Right. Yeah. So at least you had you're that. Like, oh, but okay. there was still a certain amount of things where you're a bit like, no, yeah, but weird. he didn't do anything that until he was older. Yeah. How come these people aren't in the the film? And that's it. You do question them when you yeah. don't yeah. But and you know, Hollywood still hasn't picked up on that because no. of the endless prequels and like predated <laughs> TV series that we're yeah. getting today. Where it's just like, well, this doesn't make any sense. But yeah. apparently, they never watched enough nineties cartoons. You know, some are good. Mm. Most aren't. Most aren't. No. Yeah. But you know, some. Yeah. The prequel itself, I think, is a flawed. The flawed format. That being said, uh, I have been watching um, Dark Crystal. Oh yeah, one episode left. Yeah, love it. Love it. Ah, oh, fantastic. There you go. There you go. So can, it can be done. It can be done. It can be done. But it's rare. Yeah, but this is one of those series. I yeah, I mean, but when's it set? No, you don't know. It could is be it set, set before. Is it set? Could after? be after. And that's the thing. That's the magic of it. I think it's like... after because I think. Um, all the other characters did appear in it. Yeah. At some point, I think all of them were in it right so sure yeah. I read somewhere every character reappeared from the films right like every main character mm. except for Nala really mm. I wonder why she was excluded 
I suppose because in the film, mm. she wanted to eat them. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. But there you go. See, so the logic of before? Timon and Pumbaa, yeah. it's pretty sad. It's pretty sad. It's sad. Um, but yeah, so, and it works, it works as a single adventures. Yeah. Those two are, the, I think Pumbaa's the same voice. Yeah. In the series, mm. Timon isn't. Right. But, very good. Close. Yeah, very close. You yeah. wouldn't notice it, would you? No. No. Um, so, I mean, you don't feel like, hold on, this is weird. Yeah. So, take like their Buzz Lightyear cartoon. Mm. Patrick Warburton yeah. voicing Buzz Lightyear. At first, you're like, what? That does not sound anything like Buzz yeah. Lightyear. You yeah. get used to it. Mm. But this, there's no, you know, jarring, yeah. just straight in. That's Timon and Pumper. That's it. Yeah. Straight in. And that's what you need. Yeah. That's what you need. So there's, there's no confusion. No confusion. Good premise. Mm -hmm. We're straight in. Yeah. We're happy. That's before it. it starts. And it's, it's that's what we're getting at. Yeah, it's a pretty, it, you know, it's pretty enjoyable as it goes on as well. Like I liked yeah. the, the jokes, like straight away the like Timon coming in as a smart guy and being like, look, here's how it works. The birds and the bees. Yeah. Blah, blah. It's an ugly chicken. That yeah, made me yeah. laugh. Like that was. Smart. I know because it wasn't just like, I liked almost that he told him, "You're yeah. a man. You can't lay an yeah. egg." Like usually you'd just be like. They'd be like, what, you laid an egg or something? Yeah. There'd be some sort of... They wouldn't even reference Question. that. Yeah. But the fact that they did made it mm. feel like... I don't know, it sort of added a certain originality to it in a, yeah. weird, in a weird way that... Yeah, it so just I, wouldn't I feel like they would have... Any other cartoon would have just ignored that. Yeah. And you wouldn't... Because you didn't have to didn't say that no. at all. But they did, and it, mm. it, it worked. Yeah. They were true to characters, I Yeah, and it was, it was just a good setup for the... The ongoing joke that it's an ugly chicken as well. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like you thought he was knowledgeable, and then yeah, it took a turn at the end. <laughs> You're just like, oh, and yeah, that's, yeah, that's, it. that's not quite it. Full on, like goes yeah. and kills a load of chickens at the yeah. end. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's cool to see, like, just them out in their you know in their environment doing yeah. what they're doing. They do just eat grubs all the time. They do just. They do. Adventure around, wonder. They're really simple characters. Yeah. But they're both very likable. Yeah, yeah. Like Pumba, Heart of Gold. Mm. Um, Timon, yeah. not so much, but also kind of. Yeah. Like yeah. he's like the reluctant Heart of Gold. Yeah, he? yeah. Um, I didn't really like the... The kid. Yeah. Yeah. Like it, I, it was annoying and mm. not that funny. Yeah. Um, I was a bit sick of him. Yeah. I didn't really, you know, like when... Timon's getting upset. Yeah, he disappeared as well. I felt mm. like, I you know you like I don't I don't see why it would have been because yeah. he was well annoying. He was annoying. Yeah. Um, but I, you know we've seen worse characters. It wasn't quite <laughs> yeah. that hard going. Yeah, but yeah, it wasn't wasn't the best. But they're they're the stars of the show, aren't they? Yeah. So yeah. as long as they're good, you know, mm. it's fun. And that's it. Yeah. It was entertaining. Yeah. Fun. Mm -hmm. Humorous. Yeah. Like it was, it did make me laugh quite a lot. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of like little lines that sort mm. of. It's quite good at saying things that the adults would get. Yeah. But in a innocent enough way. Yeah, yeah. Well, can't well think of any it. examples in this episode, but it did do it. Um, mm. I suppose with the birds and the bees and stuff. Yeah. Like, when he's like, "Why can't I?" Because that's what he said. Why yeah. can't I have bees? And yeah. He's like, oh. He, your insides don't. Yeah, you haven't got the right. <laughs> yeah, stuff. Yeah. And then yeah. as soon as they start throwing all them words out, you don't yeah. need any more explanation. That's it. So yeah. But yeah, it was. It was. Uh, I think what you expect of a Timon and Pumbaa show. Yeah. Which I think why it works. You're like, yeah. oh, okay, yeah. This is it. That's it. I mean, it had. To, I mean, the plot was fairly meaningless. Hmm. It yeah. felt like a drawn out gag in yeah. a way. Yeah. Which I suppose isn't great. No. But, again they they like lift it hmm. enough. yeah elevated enough yeah yeah, yeah. Well, well i think on that we should move on to our ratings i think so okay so here at toon jam we have a three point rating system um thumbs up for kuni matata mm. no worries for the rest of your days uh thumbs down that is normally chicken yeah and shaky middle still not sure about male warthogs and eggs mm. what the deal is so good bad in the middle oh, yeah. middle of the road Timon and Pumba never ever glades yep your thoughts yep um, 
well it's, it's funny it's, it's brief enough it didn't feel too long mm-hmm. um, you know lots of lots of fun lines the characters are enjoyable um, and you know some so just just generally I think it felt like it had the same vibe as when you saw those two in the film yeah you know yeah, like yeah, carried yeah, that over yeah. really nicely it, yeah. it feels like the same characters which yeah. is what's important in every decision they make and every it, even though this, you wouldn't see the situation in the film no at all but they're dealt with it in, still in right feels like yeah the same characters yeah yeah um, and so yeah um, and there wasn't really I don't think there was anything that really took it took it down a notch so I don't think there was anything that really stands out as like yeah I didn't really enjoy that like the kid yeah. I suppose was annoying but yeah I think you, it you wasn't a character it. that you'd want to see again no no but I think there was like there was it was quite minimal yeah it's minimal just, enough yeah so yeah I think for me it's gonna have to be a thumbs up yeah I think it is the the biggest thing is that this was from something else yeah and that they've 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 taken it over and successfully put them into different situations like i say yeah. like this is the only series to have people in it and stuff mm. like that of yeah. all the lion king stuff so they're dealing with loads of new things and different mm. things and it does feel a bit like it's got almost like a tiny tunes vibe to it and yeah like, yeah it's sillier than the lion king yes yeah. it is as much as it's similar it's very different mm. but it still feels genuine to the characters yeah. which is the most important thing that's it so if you like timon and pumba that's you the only reason you're going to watch, watch the show, show yeah. as a kid so you're going to like this show yeah as simple as that yeah. so it was pretty foolproof mm-hmm. as long as they did that and they did so yeah two thumbs up two thumbs up two yeah. thumbs up and i think i think in an age where there's lots of franchising and there's lots of like extended universes and stuff like yeah it's easy to see examples of people taking properties trying to do a side story with them yeah and not succeeding so yeah. to show that Timon and Pumba did it a while ago I think yeah, it's just yeah. like oh well there you go like, I know well that's it and it's like they, it's done well like it's not it doesn't feel like you you know sometimes they try and make it like oh you need to watch this to enjoy mm. this and that, that yeah it just feels like you you don't have to have seen Lion King you don't have to have seen yeah. anything yeah. you can just watch it and enjoy it that's and, it and it's not even really a big part of the Lion King no they are obviously yeah but it's just taking something small from the film hmm. and then making yeah. it into something for kids. Yeah. And like, like I say, like I mentioned all those other ones, you basically take in, they, they had like, so Aladdin's got the, the cast of Aladdin in, yeah. and Little Mermaid's the same, it's got hmm. all the cast in, and then, you know, some of them did different things, but yeah. this was like, just take a couple of people in, yeah. two, two characters that people like, and then, yeah. Chuck them in one yeah, of with new characters and stuff. Yeah. It works. Works well. Yeah, it works well. Yeah. So this is how to do it. That's it. Well, at least the world or very obscure portions plus America <laughs> will be able to revisit it thanks go. to Disney Plus. Yes. Coming soon. <laughs> Coming soon. <laughs> Nowhere near you. <laughs> if you're from the UK. Mm-hmm. Um yeah. but yeah, two thumbs up. Can't really ask for more than that. No. Timon and Pumba. It's as good as it gets. So, um, I guess that's it for this week. Yeah. Uh, If you enjoyed uh, this episode or any others, uh, please feel free to rate and review us. It really helps us out. Um, We are also uh, doing a Christmas month of cartoons throughout December. So, what we're asking is if you've got a favourite or a least favourite episode of something that is Christmas themed and animated, obviously. um, (laughs) please send them in let us know uh, we will watch it and review it it's got to be maximum 30 minutes mm. maximum mm. minimum 30 seconds <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. you know less is less is good but yeah, yeah as long as it's um as long as it's that just send them send them on to us and we'll uh, we'll give it we'll a juicy yeah yeah um otherwise i guess all that's left to say is Stay jammy for the rest of your days. Hey everyone, thank you for listening to Toon Jam. And if you want to continue to help us out, you can help us by jumping over to our Patreon page, which is patreon.com slash toonjampod. 
And if you can rate and review us everywhere you listen to your podcasts, so on iTunes or on the Android apps, that would be a massive help too. Thank you. And stay jammy.